Welcome to another episode. Today we're trying the new game Gone Home. Uh, kind of a little puzzle game. While we're chatting with Mr. Harry Pitts. How's it going, Pitts? Hey, 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 what's up, bro? So, I think you're working on a different game, and uh, so I decided to try this one out since I was having trucker MP issues. So... Got to wreck those miles in as well, huh? Yep. Yeah, I'm racking in miles today for the uh, truck from Home Event for World of Trucks. So everybody that's watching this uh, video, definitely be sure to take a look at him. I think it's under uh, Nerd Life Gaming, though, down at the bottom there. Yep, Nerd Life Gaming on YouTube. And Harry Pitt on Mixer. Yeah, that's right, Mixer. So, I got to... Wow, this is like crazy. Uh, let's see. Katie, I'm sorry I can't be there to see you, but it is impossible. Please, please don't go digging around trying to find out where I am. I don't want anyone to know. We'll see each other again someday. Don't be worried. I love you, Sam. And looks like we got to find a key here somewhere. Because our front door is locked. You know, not knowing a uh, like a new game, you know, pits it's kind of gives goosebumps. Hey, I found the key. Yeah, it, there's a lot more to the story than what you get right off the bat. Yeah, just a heads up. Right. <clears throat> so. Items unlocked. No spoilers though. <laughs> Christmas duck. All right, we are in. Oh, sh <clears throat> so from the what I kind of read a little bit about uh, the previews, um, everybody's gone. Um, the character just comes back from a trip. We got to <coughs> figure out where everybody's at. Uh, so we found an invoice here: boxes, kitchen, box master bed, box child bed, overweight library. Hmm. Interesting. Dear Katie. So much has changed, even just since you've been away. We moved into this house. I'm at a new school. And my big sister being gone for a year doesn't make it any easier. It doesn't feel real. But I'm not going to let it phase me. I used to tell you everything. And if I can't do it in person, because you're off gallivanting around who knows where, I'll tell it to this journal, just like I was talking to you. I'm expecting something to jump out here, you know. And I pick up the Steve, <laughs> Stephen King uh, author magazine. Imagine that. <laughs> hey, look. They have toilet paper. Nothing there. Let's uh, close the door. Tissue box, nothing there. At the house, added to backpack. Okay, 
There we go. Shed the light on here. Coupons. So it's almost like everybody's moving out, you know? Got a lot of boxes there. Here you haven't crashed your uh, truck, have you? So what, do you, what, what puzzle are you working on over there and gone home? Uh, I just now got through the front door, so it's like the very beginning, and still kind of trying to examine stuff, see how this all works really, opening all the drawers and how far. But, uh, no, to answer your question, I'm at the, uh, like just walked in the door, I'm at the very first puzzle. Um, I'm just going through all these drawers, just trying to figure out what what to do, really. Uh, yeah, go through everything very carefully. And if anything looks out of place, check it. Yeah. Dear Jan, it's so good to hear. Read letter. So good to hear from you again. All this new house business sounds like quite the adventure. Remember the little dorm room we shared freshman year when we were miserable about our dream homes? I always said I wanted a mansion. You said you just wanted a house in the woods. Look who got both. Got this good old split. Oh. Locked. So we got to find another key somewhere. Track and field. Oops, didn't mean to throw it on the ground. Person kind of walks slow. Turn that lamp on. Read note. Daniel from the old neighbor called. He wants to come see the new house. Call him back. Mom, Daniel is a total weirdo. The only reason I ever hang out with him in the first place is he had a Nintendo when we were little. That seems legit, doesn't it? <laughs> uh huh. Sam! Sam, where are you? 
Dude, I'm getting goosebumps reading. Really? Listening to the voicemail. I need to talk to you. Yep. Please be there. Hi, Mom. Uh, Something so happened at that bed. house, I but I don't know what. I really late flight because that was the cheapest, so I haven't yeah. figured that out yet. Well, don't worry, I'll get a shuttle from the airport so you don't have to pick me up. Like, really seriously, you don't have to. Okay, so, love you. See you soon. Bye. Oh, I didn't want to close it. It's like trying to grab stuff and it just closes. Yeah. And these hallways are crazy. Two to check location of the house. So that door's interesting. All right, journals. Items. Hmm. God, you are so lucky you finished high school before we moved into this house. So, it's the first day of school, and there I am, introducing myself to the class. And I say that I just moved into the house on Arbor Hill. All of a sudden, every kid in the room turns and just stares like I suddenly transformed into a mutant. They just stood there, pushing pretty hard for a rewind button. Because now maybe nobody knows my name, but they all know who I am. The Psycho House Girl. Great. So it looks like you gotta kinda stay a little bit of a distance to open the drawers. Uh huh. Of cards. <laughs> Nothing in there. Man, these are dark rooms. Yep. Huh. Pizza. Oh, that's <clears> a book. <throat> Look like pizza. JFK theory.
Wow, a Pioneer Combination Laser Disc Compact Disc Player for only MSRP's $9.99.99. Yep. That, that's like nineteen ninety. Yeah. Binder. Huh. Interesting. Maybe learning how to throw stuff out of the way it uh, helped a little bit. A letter. Imagine is news. It's just me that you are newly married. Hmm, interesting. All right, well, Mr. Eagle, I'm going to go ahead and bounce out for a little bit and eat dinner. All right, buddy. I'll, I'll rejoin the call here in just a bit. No worries. So we got to find a combination. So, um, maybe 1963. Nope. So let's see if we can find some other clues here that will open it. Nothing there. Uh, nothing there. So somewhere in here is a combination. Turn the fan on. A little warm in there. I don't see anything up there. Nope. Okay, so somewhere has to be the combination to the safe. Um, Marines. So let's go ahead and go this way. We'll have to come back 
to the safe or to the file cabinet. Kind of spooky with the storm out there. Thing in the chair. Let's turn the light on here. Whoop. Toss that out of the way. <laughs> Imagine that. Okay, so there's nothing else in there. It's like a book. See what this says. Zero four five one. So what we'll do is we'll try the zero four five one. Wait for her f a while to get over there. So I'm not sure why I walk so slow. All right, zero four. Five. One. Bingo. All right, so there's another document here. Please find and close your original document and a type copy for your records. The notarized copy has been filed at our offices. Thank you for entrusting your firm with an important matter. I, Oscar Messon, possessing full competency of mind and memory, and after a full survey of valued items to my name, do hereby declare this document my last will and testament. The following shall hold true upon my passing. One, I declare that I am a lifelong resident of Boone County, that I am unmarried and have no children. Hmm. Two, I declare that I have no outstanding debts to my name to any creditors living or dead. I do hereby bequeath every item of value of which I may possess, die possessed, including the dwelling and surrounding acres located at Arbor Hill. So possibly another location there, as well as any and all personal property and monetary accounts to my nephew, Terrence L. Gripper, Jr. of Dallas County, in the event that said Terrence L. Greenbar, Jr. should produce me. Then, and in such event, the bequest to him shall fall, and the same is bequest to his children as ordered by H. and Capacia, stewards of the state. 
I subscribe my name to this will this 13 day of August 1973 alright so I found the will and testament which kind of interesting so let's turn the fan off. What did, there's a box up there. Whiskey, of course. All right, so we still have that one door that's locked. So right here we're in da the office. We did the library already. So somehow we need to get into that locked area. But what we'll do is go down the hallway here. Because I think, nope, we came from that way. So we got another piece of paper here. Hey, are you the now girl, new girl? Same, I'm Tommy. I'm at the back behind you. Maybe if you get this and write back. Hi, Tommy. Yes, I'm Samantha. And yes, I'm new. What's up? Just thought since you're okay. No, I don't mind. What do you want to ask? Okay, so the way that I'm taking is... Int very spooky here. Um... All right, so we got a storm warning coming in. So really, um, like I said, we got so something has happened. We're just trying to figure out what's going on here. The X Files, of course. All right, so. Let's and Lestaria County. Residents are strongly urged to stay indoors and secure all Can we start a fire? Conditions are expected at lower elevations. Ah, so the matches are all gone. So it looks like at one time maybe they had the storm. Another red letter here. We'll just turn the TV off there. So we've got a pizza box. And nobody saved any. Alright. Test, TV. test, test. Hey, bud. Hey, hey. So, right now we're uh, in the living room here, figuring out what's going on. So I found the will and testament. Um, oh, okay. <laughs> but still trying to find. Huh. So we're missing. Uh, looks like we're missing a DVD player, possibly. Yep, probably. Sam thought this might help Dad making friends. So we got You know that feeling. Where the first moment you see someone, it's like they have a big gold star around them, and you have to get to know them. Well, there's this girl. I think she's a senior. She's usually dressed kind of punk, but sometimes I see her in this, like, army uniform, and she's always drawing in this notebook, looking so intense. I had no idea how I would ever, like, have an excuse to talk to her. Till I noticed she and her friends hang out and play Street Fighter at the 7-Eleven every day after school. The heaven and the edge of the world, Samantha Greenberg agreed too. So it looks like an old picture. Um... <laughs> So 
So somewhere we got to find the key to get into that door. Yep. But we're just uh, exploring all of the different areas here. Definitely. You got into the filing cabinet already, I heard. Um, I didn't see There wasn't anything under the drawer, like in the bottom drawer. But I found the the code to get into the top or the combination to get in the top one and there was a will and testament there so we found another note here i uh, mean have you been so it's om kind of the way that i'm taking it um the father could have went crazy also you got to look at the date that's on the will and testament well it's from the 60s true. before the kids were born so it could have been grandpa however uh you know, we did find a note, so that could have just been, um, you know, maybe a dad getting mad at his girlfriend or his uh, daughter for having the um, boyfriend around. Oh, we got a little haunting book. Well, it gets a little bit more in depth later. You'll find out. Yeah. How far did you make it into it? Always. Uh, yeah. It's more than just a boyfriend around. Yeah, I kind of figured so far. Button. <laughs> Bratmobile. I gotta stay in the room the whole time or will it play through the whole house? Uh, it'll play just in that room. Gotcha. It's not important. Gotcha. At least not that I've found yet. Well, is there one for that new new service delivery? Um, it is twenty five cents. <coughs> Chips looks like. Ah, uh, okay. A lot of pencils and pens laying around here. Erase yep. Papers. See what's in this door. I'm expecting something to jump out, you know. To closets, that's for sure. Hmm. I, they are big into to uh, JFK. Yep. give this to your mother thank you for having Danny over to your new home he has missed having his friend Samantha in the neighborhood very much Danny has to be good since Samantha his Nintendo 
street fighting tape and I gave him my permission. He's to spend, spend less time with those games anyway. No hurry returning it. Let Samantha know when that she is welcome back to our house to visit any time. Interesting. When you live in one place your whole life, your next door neighbor is kind of like your default friend. And Daniel only got weirder over the years. So moving away has been a good excuse to, like, not see him anymore. But he did always have the good Nintendo games. Maybe I'll give him a call. This, like, house is never-ending. Yep. <laughs> right. We don't need a highlighter for anything. So you know what they say about the best laid plans of mice and men? Yeah, turns out it applies to Street Fighter 2. At least I worked up the courage to walk into the 7-Eleven and ask for a turn, but all that practice at home did not exactly translate in the wild. So after I was finished getting my butt kicked, I followed them outside while they smoked. And that was when she asked me if I was that psycho house girl. But then she said she's always really wanted to see the psycho house. Her name is Lonnie. She's coming over tomorrow. Most every journal uh, has to do with somebody being psycho. And we got another locked door. Interesting. And we didn't come across one <coughs> You gotta really look for those. They're hidden. Now, <clears throat> looks like we'll need to find a couple of the keys, figure out what's behind those other doors. So I think we will save that for our next episode. Um, so make sure you uh, subscribe down below. Um, definitely check out Nerd Life Gaming. Uh, Mr. Harry Pitts was here with me with the walkthrough. 
and uh, be sure to subscribe to his as well.